hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to see how we can fetch data uh, using react from a sharepoint list and show and create a client side web part out of that so basically i've created a folder called as react demo and after creating the folder uh, i am using yo at the rate microsoft sharepoint which basically creates all the necessary files and the components that are required for our web part to work and here are the basic things which i have selected like the name of the solution the kind of component sharepoint online user current folder what type of client side component you want to create web part the name of your web part description and the framework i have selected as react so once you create and select uh, the framework it creates a solution for you and the solution i have opened in visual studio code and this is a solution where you can see the web parts folder and here we can see our get list items web part which is in react and here you can see the components so here in the components file i have created two extra file one is the interface so this interface basically consists of the customer id customer name customer address and type and then i have created a class okay and this class uh, in this class i am using an inter the interface where i have created some public members and for these public members i am assigning the types okay so once this is completed i'll go to my actual uh, tsx page uh, which where, where i have my render function and my web part is going to render so i'm just going to delete the default which is available so i have deleted that Okay, and now I am going to create a, a function, and that function is basically going to fetch data from a SharePoint list. Uh, so it's called get list customer data okay. So once our function is created, uh yeah sorry yeah yeah so once the function gets created uh i'm going to use pnpjs so for doing that i have to go to view i have go to integrated terminal and i will have to install sp pnpjs i have to type n P M install SP hyphen PNP hyphen JS. So this is going to install the uh, SP PNP library for us, which is a framework for performing basic SharePoint operations like read, uh, create, update, delete. So let's wait till this gets completed. So once the SPPNPJS library is installed, we can use the import command to start using it. Import PNP from SP hyphen PNP hyphen JS. So once this library is available, I will go here and write pnp hyphen uh sp hyphen web hyphen um list dot get by title customers dot items dot get okay and then i'll write then okay so basically after we get all the items and then what you have to do is that what you will get a response okay so that response 
I will store in this variable called response and that's it. So once you get the response, let's uh, store the response in customer collection. Okay, and here I'm going to map that response. So response dot map. Okay, and then here you can write the you can create a variable called item colon new uh, class customer and then you can write your item okay so once you write once you do this uh, sorry once you do this you can see that it has automatically imported the class customer from your file call as class customer so i have written your export class class customer so because of the export keyword i was able to get this file here okay now similarly we can uh, import the interface uh, import from uh, dot slash uh, I customer sorry I customer and So this is not the name, so I'll go here. I will take the name and I will paste it here. So this should work. Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah, done. So in this way we can import uh, interface classes and then you can use in your components. So once this is done, now let's uh, create your constructor so for creating a constructor what you have to do is we'll go here okay and i'll recommend you all guys to change this to any okay and then you can create a constructor called public constructor okay and you're in the constructor we can use props and get all the properties comma any and then we can use super props done so this is very important for a uh, our constructor to uh, inherit the properties and then for react i need to create a state right so i will create a state and here in the state i am going to create an empty items okay uh, this is an empty array okay and so when this gets completed i will create one more variable called this dot set state and here I'm going to store the same thing in items. So, um, customer collection. Customer collection. Okay, done. So now, uh, we have done with most of the code. Now we need to write a function which will load get list customer data. So we have this function called as uh, component int mount. Okay, and this function basically uh, it uh, executes on page load and use for rendering. So you can create this function like this, and then this dot get list customer data. You can write it. Right, let's add a debugger here. Okay, so now we have the data. Okay. And now, once this is completed, uh, you want to show the data, right? So for doing that, you'll have to create 
something in like this first parent uh, curly braces and then write this dot state dot items dot map okay and then you will create a function in that you can map it to the customer item okay and then once that is done we are going to return this okay and here we are going to mention our div okay so here once you have done with this then you can create a span and here in the span uh, sorry I can use anything I want like item dot customer ID I just want to show that for now so that is that is done this is all is done everything is done and now I will go go so so now it is going to show me the customer ID from my SharePoint list so let's wait till this gets executed completed and now I can go here and add the web part so react so I have added a debugger so if I do a function of 10 and let's just so you can see this is a function which gets executed on page load so now you can see how I'm able to get C001, C002 and just the ID now you can play with the HTML the way you want as I've already built up the HTML so I'm directly going to use this so let's go here and copy the HTML okay so I've copied the HTML and also I'm going to copy this to files so these are the office UI fabric CSS and I'm going to add div and motive that's it done okay so okay I'll just remove the CSS for now okay let's refresh this so we can see that uh, how does the office layout CSS work we have a grid and that we have created a row then we have a column so when this when the screen is small the actual is 12 so 6 6 when in small screen in medium screen it is 6 6 and when it's large so it's 4 4 4 so this is done and now I again refresh this so once I refresh it I should see the new changes which I have made okay so now you can see how I'm able to see all the three and when I go for a mobile layout I should see only two divs first and then the last div so you can see first second and third okay now you can make this look much better by using some CSS I've created one CSS and now I'm going to use this CSS in my module so I'll just add it here okay so once I've added it and I do a control save now I have to show it use it here so here I'm going to create a div class name is equal to okay styles dot if you can see I'm not able to see that particular style so why did I use styles first of all to so import styles from the module CSS so this is the keyword which I'm using I'm not able to get the content div name of the CSS so in 
order to able to get that what you have to do control you have to just uh, let me just stop this first okay and so let me just So now I'm going to use gulp build. So only after doing a build, uh, you will be able to see the CSS. Okay. Yeah. And also let me just pause this because it is going to take a time for build. You can see that uh, the file has been built. And now when I go to go here, and select class name is equal to i can now refer to my file content dev okay so in this way you can refer the css from the module dot css c s c s c s s file so that's it we are done now again i will use gulp serve to see the changes okay so now let's go here and refresh it yeah i guess it got completed now yeah so now you can see the changes and now if i go for a mobile layout you can see that i can see only two boxes see so in this way you can create a complete responsive structure and play with your office ui frag pick and react components so let's quickly go through all the steps which we did in order to achieve this we used a class we created a solution using react okay and we created a class file in this class file we mention all the members of our class that is the column names of the list and also we created an interface for compile time checking then i have a my tsx file where i have my render function and in this render function uh, basically, I've imported the module class customer and interface ISP list customer item and also the SPP and PJS. Okay, and then using the map function, I'm mapping the data. So this is, runs like a for loop and compounded mount runs on page load, like a kind of page load, and then I'm mapping the response to the class which I'm storing it in collection and in this way I'm setting the state so initially it is blank and then it gets filled and because of which you are able to see the data here okay so in this way so this is basically my approach of uh, using react in SharePoint so I'm welcome to suggestions from you guys and what is a better way of implementing this so thank you all if you have any suggestions or better approach of doing this you are welcome to sh show me or post in the comments below i will upload this solution and also the basic steps of implementing this along with